everybody, it's Miss Josette, and I am here with this week's Kids Club message, and we are in our Lenten messages, and I'm continuing to talk about the theme of love as we're talking about Lent and love and everything that God can do for us. So one of my favorite Bible verses, and I have a lot of them, but one of my favorite Bible verses is John 3.16. And I was just thinking about how for God so loved the world is just thinking about how God's love is so amazing, but how can we measure what God's love is? He loved the world so much. Well, the world is huge, but he loved that world so much. But how do we measure God's love? So I was thinking about different ways that we measure things. If I was going to be making some cookies, I would start off with getting out a measuring cup and a mixing bowl and maybe even some measuring spoons so that I can measure out the water and the oil and the sugar and the vanilla and all of those things that I would be mixing together to be able to make the cookies. But could I use that same kind of concept to measure God's love? Could I use a measuring cup or a measuring spoon or even a scale to be able to measure God's love? The Bible tells us in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And it goes on to say, my cup runneth over. Well, if our cup runneth over with God's love, then we can't use a measuring cup. We can't use a scale. If we're building something, what, something like um, a house or a, um, a door or even a picture frame, what kind of things would we use to measure for that? Well, we'd probably use a tape measure or a ruler or um, even a T scale. Those are some of the things that we would use to measure for that, right? So could we use that to measure God's love? Could we use a tape measure or a yardstick or a ruler or a T-square to be able to measure God's love? Mm -mm. The Bible tells us in Psalm 108.4 that the love of God is higher than the heavens. So that if God's love is higher than the heavens, I certainly don't have a yardstick or a tape measure that can measure that far. What I was also thinking about watches and time. And I was thinking about measurements of time. I was thinking about minutes and hours and seconds, and even a calendar that measures days and months and years. So there are some people who sometimes will look at their watches and their phones all the time. Sometimes I think people do that even when Pastor Tim's talking, or maybe you're doing it right now to see how long things are. But could we use a clock to measure God's love and how long God's love will last? Nope. You're probably catching on that none of these things show us how to measure God's love. The Bible tells us that God's love is everlasting to everlasting. So if God's love is everlasting, if God's love can make our cup runneth over, if God's love is higher than the mountains, then how big is God's love? That's exactly the point, guys. God's love is so huge that when God said, for he so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, would have everlasting life. There is no way possible to measure a love like that. And I want to tell you something. We don't need to measure that love. All we need to know is that what God did is real. All we need to know is that you understand that no matter how wide, no matter how long, no matter how high, no matter how deep things are, God loves you. And there's actually a verse in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 18 or 19, that God actually, that Paul is actually sharing that his prayer for people, that we would understand God's love in this, that you may understand how wide, how long, how high, how deep his capital H love really is. You may experience it. That's how we can measure God's love is we can experience it, that it is so great that only through our experience can we know how God's love is 
but we're never going to fully understand it. Guys, God's love is so big for us that even people that he has had not met yet, Jesus died for. That God's love is so big, so huge, that there is no earthly way to measure his love. There is no form of measurement that anyone has come up with that we can use to measure God's love. But we need to have faith and know and understand that no matter that we don't have these scientific ways to do it, that God's love is real. And it is real for you, and it is real for me, and it is real for those who haven't heard. His love is so real that he sent his one and only son to die on the cross for the sins of people who had who don't even know him yet. And that Jesus, who was perfectly sinless and blameless, was willing to take that punishment for us so that we could be with him forever in eternity. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you and I thank you so much for the gift of your son. And Father, these concepts of love, Father, that there is no way of measuring how much you love us, that you love us all so much, no matter what we do, no matter what we say, that you love us all so much. I praise you in the name of your precious and wonderful son. Amen. Bye guys. Thanks. Have a great day.